No Sunday in Britain is complete without a full gravy covered roast. Mmm. Oh wow, it's so good. Hey guys, it's Harry and Ju. And today we are on the hunt for the best roast dinner in London. So as usual, we've trawled through local recommendations, TripAdvisor and social media to try and find the best of the best. So we've narrowed it down to four places, all of which put their own unique spin on the roast dinner. And we're gonna go and order the most popular thing on the menu and pick our favorite. You ready to eat? Yeah, I am. Let's go. For those of you who don't know, the Sunday roast is a traditional British meal served on a Sunday. What we will be looking for on our plate is some succulent roast meat, well-seasoned roasted potatoes, thick, tasty gravy, and fluffy Yorkshire puddings, which are a savoury batter cooked in a cupcake-style mould. Our first stop is The Jugged Hare, a restaurant which specialises in game. Our roast is the best because it's freshly made and the meat is very high quality. Beef is put on, um, we slow rotisserie it for three to four hours. Potatoes are then roasted in the oven along with the Yorkshire puddings and then that will come together on the plate which is carved by, uh, with the meat which is carved by our saucier who's on, uh, on sauce at the time. Yeah, yeah, it's delicious, yeah. You're not getting like your huge big plate of veggies but everything that's on the plate is like perfectly cooked and worth coming from. So I think just in terms of like presentation, the way it's plated up, it gives, it's kind of like a more of a fine dining feel than maybe you're used to from like a classic pub roast dinner. But hopefully they've found a way to kind of like elevate things and it will taste really good. Time to tuck in. Time to tuck in. I think we go for the meat first. I'm not sure I've ever had beef that tender. No, that's so juicy, like it's very succulent. It just, I, I think the way that it's been pre-sliced as well like that, it's not, you know, a big hearty slab of beef. It's like, it's very fine, it's very thin, but it's just the right texture and just the right thickness. Right, so I think we should try it with some of this horseradish cream. Yeah. Ooh. It's so smooth. It's not, over, it's not overpowering either. Yeah. It's quite a fairly gentle horseradish taste. Yeah. It's not that kind of like burn that you're used to from like a wasabi or something. Yeah. You try some potato? Mm. So if I'm being honest, it's probably not the best roast potato I've had. I think it's like, could be crispier on the outside. They've gone for quite a light golden brown coloring as opposed to maybe the darker coloring that you're used to from roast potato. But credit to them in that the, the inside is really good. It's very, very light and fluffy on the inside. Should we go Yorkshire? This Yorkshire, yeah. Wow. Sounds, sounds crispy. That is a crunch right there. And the top is slightly chewy, but not too much. It's just crispy enough. I think it's extremely light. I, I want a bit of chew on a Yorkshire. Yeah. I don't want it to just kind of crack and crumble. A bit of chew is good. Bit. Yeah, it's just the right amount, I would say. It, overall, this whole plate has a slight sweetness to it and very light, very delicate balance of flavours. On to our second stop, Blacklock. It can take up to two months to get a reservation at this popular restaurant. Uh, the best-selling roast dinner that we do is the All In. Uh, it's an opportunity to try all the different roast meats that we sell, so beef, pork and lamb, all on one plate uh, to share for the whole table with lots of trimmings, unlimited gravy, uh, a real feast. We start about a week beforehand uh, making the gravy. Uh, the Yorkshire pudding mix uh, gets put together on a Thursday. We then take large joints of beef, pork and lamb, cook them whole over the open charcoal grill. Um, so the meat, we feel, gets more flavour cooked as a large piece. Mm -hmm. 
Yorkshire puddings are, uh, and roast potatoes are roasted in the oven in duck fat. The meat will all get presented on the plate with a little, few little bits of crackling on top and away it goes. the most monster roast I've ever seen. Yeah, I've got to agree with you. The size of this thing is enormous. I think it's 20 pounds per person, but you get so much food. That's incredible. It's like a giant feast. Right, I'm getting some of this beef. The first thing that hits you is the flavor of that gravy. And um, it's just a really sexy gravy. <laughs> oh my God. It's just, it's so, it's so luxurious and so such a strong flavor. This is a very picture-perfect roast potato. So it's, you've got that golden brown exterior. Interior is looking nice and soft and fluffy. I'm gonna give this one a try. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's really well seasoned. Yeah. You get a really good crisp on that roast potato. I think the duck fat, they cook it in duck fat, which is like notorious for producing a really, really good roast potato and it really does show. That's a proper Yorkshire. It's really good. It's not too soggy at the bottom, like it really retains its structure. And it's wonderfully light, wonderfully crispy. The batter's risen just perfectly. Really airy. Yeah, yeah, very light. This is actually the sexiest roast I've ever had. I'm going to continue to say the word <laughs> sexy. <laughs> it's damn one, yeah. sexy. <laughs> Next, we head to Oblix in the Shard skyscraper, which offers a fine dining alternative to the Sunday roast. For me, the best thing uh, about Sunday roast is, uh, is the beef. And of course, being an Englishman, Yorkshire puddings as well. The, the beef we're cooking today is a rib of beef, and it'll be cooked in the Josper oven, which is kind of like a big, it's an indoor barbecue basically, um, filled with charcoal. It gets up to around 350 degrees, so you get a really kind of amazing caramelization, a real sort of full-on sort of smoky flavor. So the, uh, the roast potatoes we're cooking today have been boiled um, just until uh, they're just cooked uh, in salted water and then they have been um, sort of roasted in the oven with some thyme, some rosemary, some garlic, um, some rock salt and we use half duck fat and half beef fat as well. We tend to do slightly larger Yorkshire puddings than normal. Side dishes we uh, we serve at the Sunday roast is uh, mashed potato with uh, with garlic crisps and uh, broccoli with uh, like a chili dressing with uh, some preserved lemon on top as well. Just helps to keep that that side dish uh, and that vegetable nice, light and fresh as opposed to being heavy. Wow, well, talk about fine dining. This looks exquisite. Everything looks so beautifully put together. The colour on that beef is incredible. It's so, so dark. Even the fat is like really darkly coloured. Mm. <laughs> Damn, that's good. We both just like sat back. <laughs> we just said, oh wow, at the same time. It's just like juicy enough. Um, it's got flakes of salt over the top as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just salty enough as well. Mm -hmm. It's kind of taste-wise and almost texture-wise closer to a steak than to like a classic roast maybe. Yeah. Also, just because of the way it's cooked on those coals, you do get that kind of like char flavor on the outside, which is really, really good. Yorkie time. Yorkie time. Mm. That's really good. It's not very crispy. And I wouldn't say that it almost has a sweet taste to it, and it just reminds you quite a lot of it being a batter. Um, it's almost like a little bit cakey in a way. 
I get that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I get that from it. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow, it's so good. good that has just got the right amount of salt on it mm -hmm. and the right amount of oil. The garlic, you can really taste the garlic. Our last stop takes us to northwest London for a rather unique and portable take on the traditional Sunday roast. I was doing some work with a friend of mine uh, in street food before, so I was doing that part time for a few months and kind of realised from all the events that we were doing, there's nothing British really. And then the roast dinner was the thing that I thought was that we do better as a country than anything else. And then just the whole Yorkshire pudding wrapping up thing just seemed like the best way to do it. You don't want a knife and fork for taking stuff. Checking out the menu in the Uber on the way over here, and this was the one thing that drew, drew my eye. I actually tried to make a Yorkshire pudding at home, failed miserably, but this one, absolutely incredible. So the beef wrap starts with the giant Yorkshire pudding, so we get that toasting off on the grill so it's all nice and crispy. And then as that happens, we start to build it, so there's a sage and onion stuffing goes on the bottom followed by garlic and rosemary roast potatoes. Uh, then today we've got a bit of spinach that will go onto it. Then the braised beef. Bit of red wine gravy. Horseradish and then all wrapped up and then there is your beef Yorkshire burrito. Wow, that is a mouthful. I literally, I just bit into some lovely, really soft beef and then straight through a crispy roast potato. You know, it's a kind of texture that you really want in a great Sunday lunch. Horseradish is a classic pairing with beef in the UK with your roast dinners, because it just kind of gives you that bit of like, it's kind of heat, isn't it? Like a bit of a heat that just kind of really cuts through what can be quite rich meat, especially when like this, it's kind of had that, that braising effect in the red wine. Yeah. I was worried actually about the roast potatoes that because they're deep fried instead of being like classically roasted, I was a little bit worried about them. So I mean just to talk about the Yorkshire itself, it's not like a normal Yorkshire I've had in that it's not hugely kind of fluffy. I think the way they've kind of made it, obviously because it has to have a bit more structural integrity to hold all this liquid in. So it's a little bit sort of chewier than I was expecting. But I think in kind of the grand scheme of the whole the whole dish, it's kind of necessary. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a classic Yorkshire pudding, um, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Now it's time to decide which is the best of the best. So we've had four roast dinners in London, and now it is time to reveal what we thought was the best of the best. Now, I really honestly don't know what you picked, Harry. No, I don't know what you've picked, but I'm excited to find out. Should we reveal on one? OK. Countdown. OK. Let's go. Right. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Ooh, okay, okay. division. We've got a disagreement, okay. Okay, I'm I'm actually, you know what? I was about to write Oblix. Mm -hmm. I was about to write Oblix. I, I mean, why did you pick Oblix? So for me, it was kind of a two horse race between Oblix and Blacklock. I went for Oblix because it was more of an experience. Maybe for someone who's coming from outside of the UK and wants to try a roast dinner, I think the fact that you get to go up the Shard and just the quality of the food and the atmosphere in there was fantastic. And I just, just really, really enjoyed it. Actually, for exactly the same reasons I would have picked Oblix. The reason why I picked Blacklock is because for me, it really defines what the idea of a classic Sunday roast is, which is a little bit more messy. Uh, you kind of get in there, it's very meaty, very hearty. And just the portion sizes, I thought it was fantastic value for money. And there's just something a little bit more kind of like charmingly rough and ready about it. It's like, it's just getting stuck in there and with gravy everywhere and with the amount of beat you get. Um, I, I think that Oblix was fantastic for fine dining, but for me the idea of a Sunday roast is a little bit more rough, I think, yeah. You know what, Gio? Pass me the pen. <gasps> I'm 
I'm going to back down. I'm, I'm going to agree with you. Like I said, it, it was a two horse race. There wasn't a lot between it. And I think maybe for the more sort of authentic roast dinner experience in terms of like the quantity and getting a, your hands a bit dirty, I think Black Lock maybe just edges it. So, sorry Oblix, Black Lock's the winner. So there you have it. We've crowned Black Lock as the best roast dinner in London. Did we miss anywhere that you like? Let us know in the comments below. Hey guys, it's Harry and Ju. And my phone's ringing, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <We're> for real. <laughs> sorry, I'm switching it off. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, there we go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs>